scoring down, the Broncos take the field. UCO's defense rising to the occasion. Morton, Davis, and Hethington all with the stop for the Broncos. Southwestern is forced to punt. The punter slips and falls. That's tough on the old pride. Broncos start their first drive from their own 21. Hand off to Ryan Logan. A gain of eight down to the 34. UCO goes to the pass. Scott Condick back and throws a duck to Todd Barnes, who makes the catch. A third and 14. Broncos hand off to Logan, and he has some room. Logan carries 29 yards down to the Bulldog 41-yard line. Four plays later, the Broncos give to Reggie Donner, and he picks up 23 yards. Look at him run just short of the goal line. Donner would punch it in on the next play, going up and over for the touchdown. UCO leads 7-0. The Bulldogs at their own 26. Brian Morton goes in untouched and brings down Holloway for the loss of three. UCO back on offense. The handoff to Logan around the outside. He steps over one, breaks another, finally brought down. Broncos handoff again to Logan over the other side. Look at the hit he puts on the linebacker. Southwestern with the ball, trying to do some trickery, running the reverse. But Johnny Jones sniffs it out like the dog he is and brings him down. Southwestern trying to bring it up the gut, but meet Claude Davis. No gain on the play. Bulldogs handoff to Mathis. Again, Claude Davis with the stop for the Broncos. Southwestern looking to pass this time. Drops. It's caught, but Tony Thompson is there to greet the receiver, a loss of four on the play. The Bulldogs go back to the ground. The draw, yes sir, number 75, Claude Davis with the tackle for the Broncos. The Bulldogs were forced to putt, but Reggie Donner looks like he might be off, but loses his footing, still a gain of 12. The next play, handoff to Donner, looks like nothing doing, but Donner breaks free, Busk has his man blocked, and Donner makes the cut and is off. He's finally knocked out of bounds at the Bulldog 23-yard line. The Broncos then go to the pass. Condit back, hits Ryan Logan on a screen, but it's called back after a penalty. However, this one wasn't called back. Scott Condit back, hits Jet Cornette, and he fights his way down to the Bulldog 29-yard line. The very next play, Condit again to pass. Jet Cornette's his receiver, and he gets drilled. But I think the defensive back was the one who got the worst end of the hit. Southwestern on offense, looking to pass, but Tony Thompson breaks it up for the Broncos. UCO back on offense, handoff up the middle to Logan, breaks past the line, spins away from the defensive back, and slips at the Southwest 47. Handoff again to Donner in the next series. Look at the footwork, a gain of 14 on the play. The next series for the Bulldogs, the long pass, and Brandon Carter snatches it out of the air, knocking it down. It would have been a touchdown. Second half action, the rain coming down even harder, and the Broncos defense playing that way. Offensively, UCO starting with the run. Handoff to Logan, a huge hole by the O-line, a nice gain on the play. Broncos again, the handoff to Logan over the outside. Logan's going to take out half of the southwest sideline. Look at the coach go down. Those are things you can't teach a player. If Southwestern's next series is not very productive, they're forced to punt. The muff snap. Kelly Eddington falls on the punter. UCO takes over at the Bulldog 5. On a second goal, handoff to Donner, who marches in four yards for the UCO touchdown. Broncos lead it 14-0. to Tony Thompson intercepts the Bulldogs' next pass. UCO capitalizes. Handoff to Logan. 12 yards and a Bronco touchdown. UCO on top, 20-0. to zero. The ensuing kickoff highlights one of the younger Broncos. Tyler Griffin comes in with a tackle. The field conditions are not getting any better, and neither is Southwestern. Johnny Jones comes up with a big hit right here. Stick. I would have traded my ride home for that girl's Dalmatian raincoat. Southwestern going to their desperation offense. The pass, it's caught by Callum for a first down. The UCO defense looking to put a little more pressure on the Bulldog quarterback, and they do. Jason Rimpey comes up with a big sack. The Bulldogs step things up a notch. Stowers back to pass, and he's going to hit Willis on a post. Touchdown, Southwestern. A total of eight UCO fumbles makes this game very, very interesting. The snap on a punt going to get through the hands of David Simpson, and the Broncos are in trouble. Southwestern at the UCO 13. Stowers is back to pass, and it's picked off by Johnny Jones. UCO goes on to take the win, 20 to 6. Coach Chuck Bailey after the game. It was a tough situation. We're just glad this thing's over and get out of here before, before lightning strikes somebody. This is, field's in uh, really bad shape. It's rained a lot. We're just lucky to get out of here. Dream about it as a little kid. You dream about being games like this. You see it on NFL clips, man. It was fun. I mean. Best feeling. I wish everybody in the stands could have been out here.
UCL's player of the game goes to Brian Morton, linebacker, 235 pounds. He had 12 tackles against Southwestern, a game high. This week, this week UCO versus Southeastern. That's a Saturday game at Waltland Stadium.